What's up guys, my name is Mari and I'm gonna be showing you a follow along, full comprehensive foam rolling routine you can do pre-workout for a warm up or post exercise for an active recovery. So we're gonna start off with the front side of the body. We're gonna put down that foam roller down on the ground. You can always grab a, if you don't have access to a foam roller, a water bottle or just something with a hard surface that you can roll on top of. So we're gonna start off with those shins coming on top of that foam roller. We're gonna bring those knees, drawing those towards your chest and then away from you. Just rolling right on top of that shin area. If this is too much pressure, you can always drop down onto one leg only and that will relieve some of the pressure on top of those shins, on top of that foam roller. So we're gonna roughly be doing about 10 rolls on each of our body parts today. Great, so now we're gonna move to our quadriceps, okay? This area of our leg, we're gonna drop down on two of those forearms, and we're just gonna roll those shoulders forward and back, right on top of that foam roller. So roughly right above the knee area and right below the hips is the quadricep area. You can kind of move back and forth, side to side, roll all on top of that quadricep area, Really listen to your body. Some parts may be more sensitive than others. You can always drop down again onto that one leg if it's too much, too much pressure. All right, now we're gonna go onto the back side of our bodies. So go ahead and sit down onto that mat, place those calves right on top of that foam roller. And you're just gonna draw your knees into your chest, towards your chest, and away. So we just foam roll all that calf area there. If you want more pressure, feel free to lift up your bottom and then move back and forth on top of that foam roller that way. You can always stack up one leg on top of the other as well if you need even more pressure if that's not enough. Otherwise, you can sit down and just bring those knees in. Great, now we're gonna move up to our hamstrings, all right? So lifting up that bottom on top of that foam roller, and we're just gonna roll out that hamstring area. So right above that knee, and right below that glute area, rolling all along. I kind of twist my legs left and right, trying to really get the outer, the inner area of that hamstring, not just right on top. We get that full myofascial release, you can really release that tissue tension and muscle tightness and really can increase our range of motion here by foam rolling. All right, now we're gonna move that foam roller behind us, all right? We're gonna get that upper back area, all right? So put your hands behind the nape of your neck, lifting up your bottom off the ground, and we're just gonna roll back and forth, just the upper back, so the shoulder blade area. All right, rolling back and forth. Sometimes you'll feel your back crack. You might be a bit sensitive here, so you can keep that bottom down on the ground if you need to, if that's too much pressure. We often hold a lot of tension and stress in our shoulders and our upper back area. This might be a bit sensitive for you. All right. Now we're gonna place that foam roller vertical. So it was horizontal the whole time. Let's place that vertical. We're gonna lay on top, right on top of it. Make sure that our head is supported, that our neck is not tweaked and, and hanging off the side of there. Okay, lift up your bottom, and we're just gonna do our angels, opening up our chest here. All right, so open up that chest. Good. That should feel real nice. Opening up those shoulders. Make sure that we're using our breath while we move. Give me two more here. And last one. Nice. Final two moves here. We're going to sit on top of that foam roller here. So place that bottom on top. We're going to stack one leg on top of the other, opening up that hip. Let that knee that stacked up on top of that other foot fall towards the ground, all right? So we're gonna get that outer glute area. So we're rolling that outer glute area here. Moving back and forth with those hips. Just rolling on top of that foam roller. Nice and slow. You're gonna feel it a little bit more tense. 
tenter in other spots than others. You'll get the hang of it. Nice, steady flow here. And then let's switch out to the other side. So stacking up that other leg, that figure four open. And let that knee fall towards that ground. Hitting the outer area of that glute. Rolling back and forth. So for all milling is really helps release tension in the muscles, relieve pain, soreness, and improve flexibility and your range of motion. So I would recommend turning this on and doing, doing it a couple times, really making it a part of your workout regimen during your week. All right, final movement here. We're gonna come to the side now. We're gonna place one, extend one leg all the way to the ground. The other leg is gonna come in front of that extended leg, okay? And we're just going to move slowly just below that hip, right above that knee is where you stop. That's the area we're hitting our IT band, okay? The side of our thigh here, up to our glute area. Good, flexing that foot, protecting that knee, that lower back. I'm just kind of pushing away with this down leg here to help move me back and forth. All right, switch legs, other side, extending out that leg that's on that foam roller, it's straight, and then that other leg stacks right on up. Just kind of moving. You'll get the hang of it the more you do this. Where your hands should be placed, the positioning. above that knee, right below that hip, just the outer area of that thigh. Two more rolls here. Nice. All right. You are all done. I hope you enjoyed that full comprehensive bone rolling routine, and we'll see you next time.